how many hundred percent did you get man let, let, let's start from there I got three, Chief. Okay. I've never received anything less than 95 as an average throughout the whole year. Hello, hello, guys. Uh, welcome back to Gift Varsity TV. Uh, this is your host, Gift Pozekana. Guys, don't forget to like this video and make sure that you subscribe. You hit that subscribe. Just give us 10,000 likes, a thumbs up, thumbs up, so that more students who are interested in knowing what's going to happen here can be... Uh, the, the video can be recommended by YouTube, right? Thank you so much. Uh, hello, sir. Hello, 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 Gifts. Can you introduce yourself? Yeah, hey, my name is Peño. I'm currently studying medicine at UCT. I'm original from Limpopo. Oh, from Limpopo. Yeah. Currently doing medicine at the University of Cape Town, right? Okay. Hey, bro, I hear that you, you are one of the top achievers, man. Yeah, eh. Yeah. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Mathematics, uh, physics, uh, and how many hundred percent did you get, man? Let, let, let's start from there. I, I got three, chief. <laughs> three. <laughs> so, you, <laughs> so you decided to, 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 to get three? Yeah, yeah, I had to get revenge, eh? Yeah. Yeah, I had to make history. Three. Physics, maths, accounting. Not just any, <laughs> it's not life orientation, guys. <laughs> it's physics, it's mathematics, it's accounting, right? Yeah. How did you do this, man? Uh, I trial and error. Mm. It took me probably three years to, to get where I am. Like all these years, grade eight, grade nine, grade 10, hey, school work was telling me. But then grade 10, I sat down, I was like, hey, my G, you know what you're capable of doing? Just focus, you can do this. And indeed, here I am, you know. So it's just trial and error. You just have to find what works for you yeah. at the end of the day. Yeah. So in those previous grades, you did not get 100%. It was the first time. Or did you get 100% in grade 11? Yeah, I was getting them here and there during the year, grade 11. Yeah. You know, things started happening for me in grade 10, basically. Oh. That's why. I, but then in primary, I was, you know, a pretty good student but then when i went to high school i had to adjust to the environment i had to find new ways of doing things you know the environment was different so it took me two years you know just to find a strategy which works for me okay we will come to the strategy that works for you how many decisions did you get uh, all of them chief. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you got 300 percent distinction all of them distinctions yeah hey, chief, yeah <laughs> what was the average hey <laughs> hey hey uh, that, that question chief i got uh, uh 96.7 chief uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah ne? okay 96.7 yeah so you, you in the previous terms you, you were getting the same average or you improved basically I, i've never received anything less than 95 as an average throughout the whole year <laughs> okay so which position your position number one limpo i guess chief <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's which position you in the pump? Ah, it's it's very weird saying which position I was I in the pump. Yeah, eh, I was position <laughs> position third, but then you can remove the zero. Eh, 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 position third, remove the zero. Position one. Wow, 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 wow. So. Surely universities were so excited to, to admit you in their institutions, right? Yeah, you, you, to be, to be you, to be you chose to come to UCT. Definitely. How was the experience now being a, uh, like being a top achiever and now being accepted at UCT? Tell us. It was very overwhelming, you know, that week after the announcement of results. You know, it was interviews after interviews after interviews after interviews. And, you know, I'm not... 
a person who li really loves being in, in the public eye too much, yeah. you know. So it was quite overwhelming. And then when I received an email from UCT saying that you have been accepted, I was like, definitely, I'm no longer looking at anything else. UP, <laughs> but I'm going to UCT. <laughs> so yeah, hey, when, yeah. I, when I received that email, you know, that, that's the only thing which mattered to me. Mm. All of this, 100% and everything, they don't really matter to me because at the end of the day, I was, you know, working towards this. So achieving it was what was most more important to me. So I heard that you were first by the VC at uh, the airport. Yeah. So yeah, hey, the VC, she's the first person I I saw when I arrived here at Cape Town. Uh. <laughs> so yeah, it, it was a very nice experience, you know. Mm. You know, one of those things, you know, one for the books. You know, I'll never forget it. So it was a very interesting experience although i was quiet the whole time you know because what are you going to say with the vice chancellor of the biggest university in africa, in africa chief <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 but then yeah yeah, yeah. okay that, that, that's great i just want to congratulate congratulate you one more guy uh, my guy and you you really worked hard yeah. wow so w w w which school are you from I'm from Texila Secondary School. Yes. It's not a well-known school, but then I'm sure um, you can expect big things from that school. It's yeah. still the new kid in the block. It has been in existence for quite a while, but then it's now go coming into you know the bigger frame recently. But then yeah, watch out. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's doing the wonders. Yeah. Tell us about yourself now. How did you make sure that? You, 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 you get, t tell us the strategies, the methods that you used, right? So that you can get these incredible marks from high school. What helped me the most, you know, is working with other students. You know, what I've realized is that it is very important for, for, for a person to be selfless. Selfless in the sense that you are not afraid to ask for help and you are not afraid to offer help. You know, when someone comes to you and say, Please assist me with this thing. Don't say I'm busy or anything. Like, I was always willing to help. When someone came to me with a problem, I sat them, down with them and then I, I, you know, I tried to find solutions to, in order to help them. And then also when I was struggling, and I didn't say worrying, I, I'm the smartest guy, so therefore I can't ask anyone for help. When I was struggling with, some, with something, I, I, I went to the next person and asked them to explain to me, you know, because at the end of the day, we are, we are here to learn. If you think you are perfect, then what's the point of attending school if you are perfect at something? So I, under, I understood that. And when they said extra classes, I attended everything. When there was someone was teaching, I was there sitting, listening, as if I don't know anything. Because see, there's, there's always something which can be learned. And then on top of that, you know, it's just about making sacrifices. You know, if you want to be different from other students, if they sleep four hours, you must sleep two hours if they're studying for four hours you must study eight hours so that it can be a difference you can't expect to to perform uh, above someone whereas you're ma not making the same amount of sacrifices so sacrificing is very much important wow 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 oh that's a that's a great method that you used indeed because indeed uh, teamwork makes the dream work right yeah. you can't do this thing alone and you said about sacrifices indeed you know you 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 reap what you sow right yeah yeah, yeah most of the time so now you're in grade 12 right you're studying mathematics you're getting physical sciences this hand like how how did you study mathematics let's start with mathematics now uh, with mathematics practice makes perfect if practice makes perfect like not to try to break now but then because of practice last year i never received anything less than 99 percent in mathematics <laughs> because of practice so yeah, come, practice come again i never received any anything less than 99 percent in mathematics throughout the whole year less than 99 yeah it was just that mistake maybe yeah, a reason in what mistake yeah nah. yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, what other method did you, you just practiced? Practiced. Check practice. 
not textbooks, yeah. question papers. Yeah. Textbooks sometimes can be very, very misleading. Because one thing you think the the, the, the the problems in the textbooks are easy, but then when you get to an exam or something, you find a different story. So I always try to practice as many question papers as I can. And then obviously sometimes you get stuck. And then when you get where you get stuck, you approach one of your teachers or you approach one of your peers, you know. And then as you are doing so, even then when they're practicing a different question tomorrow and they get stuck, they come to you. And then when, that, when they come to you and it also moves you, tomorrow you know when they ask a question like this, this is how you are supposed to approach it. And then as you are busy practicing all of those approaches, all of, all, all of that knowledge is building up. Then tomorrow when they give you a question, immediately know how, you immediately know how to take it. Okay, guys. Yeah, I hope you got it. Practice, 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 practice. Then you can be a perfect. Right. Tell us about physical science now. Physics is is destroying a lot of students, a lot of learners in high school. Tell us about physical sciences. How did you manage to excel in physical sciences? Uh, physical sciences again. Practice. You know these things. You can't cram them like. Every test you are asked about a different thing. One day they might ask you about a flying airplane. Tomorrow they'll tell you about a balloon. So you can't really say, I'm going to write about a balloon. You just have to, you know, open up your mind. It's all about thinking outside the box. And the one thing which helped me is that I have had very dedicated teachers, you know. Very brilliant teachers. Maths, every subject, I'm not complaining. Like, they were perfect. Like, when I say I had the best teachers in the world, I mean it. You know, so when a, a, a teacher loves a subject, you can't help yourself but to also fall in love with the subject. So it became easier for me because, you know, when I was attending to, when I was, when I was going to classes, you know, I didn't really feel the, the burden because I knew, knew that I was going to do something which I loved and I was going to be taught by someone who loves what they're doing, you know. So I think uh, that is one of the things which helped me. So, you know, when I, a final examination came, I was like, hey, my guy, you have to do something. Just show them that I, the, all the blood and sweat was not for nothing. So, yeah. yeah. You, you, Just give them yeah. perfect score. Yeah. Yeah. So, you made sure that you clean everything there. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> wow, wow. Well, let's go to accounting now. The last one that you got 100%. Yeah, accounting. You know, I, I don't know why I didn't do uh, accounting science. Because, yeah. you know, I, I love that subject. Like, I loved it. Like, I loved it. You loved something that is related with money, no? Not necessarily. Here is the thing about accounting, my history with accounting. You know, my, my, my father was a, a very brilliant accounting teacher, right? Mm. He was an, a commerce teacher, but then he unfortunately passed, out, passed on 2017. So, you know, I think that person has, was already instilled in me. But then I couldn't run away from science, you know, because I love innovation. You know, I love medicine. That's why I'm doing medicine. But then I had to, you know, some way try my best to do something relate, related to accounting so yeah that's why okay okay well, all right all right so my, my question is now um bef, be, before uh, you you decide to do medicine like we're gonna ask you why why did you choose medicine? What, what other courses do you, were you planning to start in grade 11 or oh, it was medicine throughout it wasn't medicine throughout you know I, I you know i'm also interested in technology so I consider things like Comsci, yeah, mechatronics. I considered them at some point, but then you know, I loved everything, so I couldn't do two courses at once. You know, so uh, when it came down to uh, me having to make a decision, you know, I looked around the around my community. I realized, or I come from the villages in Mulet, you know, and overall majority of the people are elderly people. You feel me? And you know. The, the idea of technology, innovation, is not appealing to them. Like, if you tell someone, an elderly person, that I want to invent a car which can drive itself, it might, that, uh, that thing might not be as appealing to, to them as it might be to us. So I looked around, I saw that, you know, doing technology, although it might benefit us in the future, it would be selfish of me, you know. So I tried to look, something, I tried to look for something which can help them, now, like, right now. So I realized that most of them, you know, they're struggling with health, you know, hospitals are very far, you know, they have to take taxis, you see. The closest thing to them is a clinic, it's always congested. So I knew that, hey, I had to do medicine, you know, because 
I had to give back to my people, you know, they're the ones who made me who I am today. So it's time for me, it's, it's you know, it's time for me to finally pay back my respect, you know, to finally take care of them, in a way. Oh, wow, 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 wow. So that's the reason why you did medicine, because yeah. you want to give back uh, to your community, right? Definitely. Great, 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 great. Uh, you say you got uh, seven distinction, right? What are the characteristics or the attributes someone must have in order to achieve get good results in high school, right? Like I said, number one, you have to be selfless. And I mean like selfless. The thing about smart people, and I'm putting it in inverted commas because I believe that everyone has the potential to be smart. The thing about smart people is that they think that they can always work alone. Like they don't want to help other students. I don't know, there's this thing, maybe they, are the only, they, they always want to be at the top of the food chain or something, but then it, that's not how things work in the real world. So number one, be selfless. Always be willing to ask for help. And on top of that, always have the willingness to uh, help other students, you know. A, a wise man once told me that a candle lose, loses nothing by lighting another candle, you know, because at the end of the day, the room will get better for everyone. Wow, 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 wow. Can, can you repeat that? A candle loses nothing by lighting another candle. Because at the end of the day, the room will get brighter for everyone. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. That, that's, that, that's a great, that's a great quote. Any last advice for someone who's doing grade 12? Anything that you want to tell them that you think they are supposed to know now, right? It's up to you. Look at them. What I can say, like, it's not about how you start. Look at me. I'm here now. Like I, I, like I said, I've, I haven't always been the top performing student, you know. It's all about trial and error. Just try to your best to find what works for you, you know. Even if you, you, you start weak, it's all about how you finish. So just keep on pushing, keep on pushing, make the effort, make the effort, make the effort. I'm sure something will pop up. Like you, you can't start you continuously, you can't make an effort continuously only for you to fail at the end of the day. Like that has never happened. I, I strongly believe that no one can study and, you know, make sacrifices and then only for them to not to, to reap anything at the end of the day. And one last quote. If you don't sacrifice for what you want, then what you want will become the sacrifice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Guys, make sure you subscribe on this channel. We yeah. are 300k views. 100k views. <laughs> make sure you like so that you can get this 100k views. Thank you so much for your time, Mr. Benio. All the best with your journey uh, in, uh, with medicine until you become the best doctors. Uh, the best doctor of our country, helping your community and also assisting our country. Thank you so much for your, for this time uh, on this channel. All the best.